In this tutorial, we're going to add some basic textures to our teddy bear model here. So I'm just going to select the model, and I'm going to go up to Edit, and then I'll go down to Delete by Type, and I'm going to delete the history, and then I'm going to go to Modify Freeze Transformations, just to make sure that we don't have any problems when we start to unwrap our UVs. So I'm going to tap the spacebar now, and I'm going to go to my side panel, right click, go to Face, and I'm going to select kind of the front of the character here. And then I'll tap the spacebar, go over here to my front view, and I'm going to go over here to my modeling toolkit. I'm going to go to uh, symmetry. I'm going to turn the symmetry to object X, and I'm going to start to unselect areas of the character here. So I'm going to hold down Control and unselect these areas here. And then I'm going to go to my perspective panel here and let's see, we want to also unselect here. And then up here I want to grab the areas on the ears here. So I'm going to hold down shift, click on one face and then double click on the face next to it. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to just click one face and then double click on the face next to it and I'll select the whole loop here. So I'm going in, selecting more and more here, just going, selecting each of these loops. Okay, select that. And then I'm going to switch to my drag selection and I'm going to hold down control and shift and I'm going to add to my selection here. And by holding down Control and Shift at the same time, it will only add, it will not subtract. So I'm just going to add all this stuff in here. I'll tumble, hold down Control, Shift, and select in here, and right here. So you can see that the same thing's happening on the other side because we have our uh, Object X symmetry turned on. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, let's see, let's go back here and I'll hold down, let's see, I'll go to Marquee Selection, hold down Control, I'm going to unselect this stuff again. Okay. So I've got the faces that I want to um, extract with a planar map now. So I'm going to go up to UV and I'm going to go down to planar and I'm going to go to the options for this. And I want to make sure that keep image width slash height ratio is selected and I want to I want to project a UV map along the Z axis. Okay, so if we look over here this indicates the direction and I want to basically project straight towards the front of the character going from here this way towards the front. So I'll go ahead and Let's see, I'm going to go to Window, and then I'll go to UV Editor, and let's just, I want to be able to show you as we do this. So I'll hit Apply, and now if we look over here in our UV Editor, I can move this over, and there is our projection along the Z axis. Alright, so that looks good. Now I'm going to go back, I'll close this, I'm going to go back to my perspective panel here and I just want to let me go back to face mode here so now I'm in face mode so now I'm going to go to select and then go to inverse so I've got everything else selected and I'm going to go up to, I'll go up to uh, UV and I'll go down to automatic mapping so that kind of maps the rest of my character. And I don't need all of this stuff. I'm just going to need the feet right in here. So I'm going to zoom in on the feet here. And at this point, I need to turn off my symmetry. So I'll go to off. And now I'm just going to take a look here. Um, what I want to do is go up to tool. I'm going to go to cut UVs. And I want to let me go to edge mode here. Hang on. Go to edge. And now I'll go back to tool and cut UV. And I'm going to cut 
through here. Just dragging along the edge here to cut it. Okay. So then I can hit W, go to shell, select the shell, and just move that away. And I'll do the same thing over here. Uh, I'm going to go to edge. I go to tool, cut UVs. And again, I'm going to just drag along this edge here to cut these. Let's separate that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to cut along here and cut along here. All right. So I'll hit W, bring that back my regular menu here. I'll go to Shell, and uh, basically what I want to do is select these two shells, move them over. Okay. So I want these shells separate. You can scale them up a little bit. And then I'm going to right click and go to UV. And I'll select all of these UVs here. We're not going to be unwrapping the entire character, just some select areas, okay? Because this is a beginning tutorial. All right, so I'm going to scale that stuff over here. I'll uh, now go to Shell, select this shell, and move this over, and we'll scale it down a little bit, okay? And then I'll take the feet here, and I'll move that over to here, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do here is right click and go to object mode okay so it's really important when you export your UVs that you are in object mode you also have to have the object selected so now I can go to polygons and then UV snapshot and then from here um, what we want to do is make sure it's set the image format set to TIFF and then the size is a minimum of 2048 by 2048 and then right here under out UV, we're just going to call this uh, out UV bear. Okay. So this is going to save it to my project folder under the bear model and then images. Okay. So you have to understand where that file's going, and this is this is the path right here. Okay. So you want to note that before you hit save or hit OK. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to switch to Photoshop, and I'm going to open up that file. I'll go to File, Open. And right here, um, basically, you're going to go to wherever your project folder is. So Documents, Maya Projects, Bear Model, and then you'd go to Images. Okay. So here's our image, out UV bear tiff. So we'll open that up. All right, so here is our exported UVs from Maya. I'm going to unlock this layer. I'll create a new layer, drag it below, and we'll just call this a BG for background. And, or actually, let's call this um, base color. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go to my color picker here, and I'm going to choose uh, kind of an orangish color. So if you're on orange here, and then you want to kind of go darker to get a brown. Okay, so I'm going to select this brown color here. I'll take my paint bucket and just fill the whole canvas. Now you won't see that color because layer zero right here, this is our UV, so I'll rename this to UV, um, is uh, not a transparent layer. So let's change this layer style. I'm going to go to normal and I'll click on screen. Okay, so now I can see through to the background okay now this color that I have right here actually is not what I want I want to go a little bit darker so let me fill this in again now there we go okay now I'm satisfied with that I'm gonna go to my UV layer and I'm actually gonna lock this because I don't want to paint on that layer alright so now I'm gonna to go to base color I'm gonna add a new layer and let's name this detail okay so now I'm gonna take my tablet and I'll start to paint on uh, the detail layer here. So I'm going to hit Command Plus to zoom in. And uh, let's see, over here I'm going to change my color to black. Change my paintbrush here. I'm just going to take a hard brush. All right, so now let's just paint in the nose. Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to turn off the visibility on my UV layer for a moment and just, that's our nose shape. And from here, what I'm probably going to do is now I'll just take my paintbrush and I'll go thinner with the brush, make the brush smaller. And I'm going to put in like, here, let me turn off the visibility on the UV layer. I'm going to put in some little lines here. And these are going to be like stitches for the uh, the bear. So it's like hand sewn. Okay, so I'm just going to have these little lines here. Like so. Okay. All right, so I'll turn the UV layer back on. And uh, now on this detail layer, I'm going to draw in another line down here. But I'm going to change the color on this. So I'm going to go to, let's see, I'll hold down Option, select the color here. And then I'm going to just flip this. So let me, let me flip this to the other color. So I just hit the button right there. I'll uh, select this brown color. And then I, what I want to do is just go lighter with it. So I'll take like a light brown. And then I'm just going to draw in a line here. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just select it. I'll hit Command C and then Command V. So now I've got two of those lines and I'm going to transform. So I'll go to flip horizontal. And then I'm going to move this over. Okay. All right, so now I'll take my uh, paint bucket. I'll fill this. Actually, I need to merge this down. So I'll merge that down. Command E to merge it down, and then I'll fill that in. And then we've got to just take our paintbrush and fill this line in here. OK. So now I'm going to add in some more detail up here. So I'm going to just zoom in here. And I'm going to paint in just increase the size of my brush here. I'm going to turn off the uh, UV layer for a moment and just kind of add in a little bit. It's a little bit easier to kind of see the shape without those lines. Okay, and just a little bit more paint here. Okay. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of this, and I'm just going to um, change this color a little bit. So I'm going to go a little more red. And I'm going to change my paintbrush to a soft brush here. Increase the size. And I'll take the opacity on this down. I just want to kind of paint in a, a slight amount here. I'll take the flow down as well and just paint in a little bit of variation in color here. Again, I'll turn off the UV layer just so I can kind of see what's happening here. So I'll zoom out here. Just a little color variation there. And let's do the same thing actually over here. So I'm going to select this color and I'm going to go even lighter towards the uh, towards the middle here. So I'm just going to paint in a little bit here and then maybe go even a little bit lighter towards the center. That's a little bit too obvious. So let me 
try that again. I'll take my opacity down even more. Still too obvious, so let me increase the size of my brush here and just paint in a little bit. There we go. All right, that looks good. So I'm now going to uh, merge these layers down. So I'll hit Command E, turn my UV layer back on. I'm going to select this section right here, hit Command C, and then Command V. Move this over and go to Transform, and then flip horizontal, and then we'll move this over. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'll go up and over. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then the last thing is we'll do the feet here. So uh, let me merge this down again. And I'm going to take the uh, paintbrush here. Start with a hard brush. And we'll start with this outer color here. So bring all this stuff back up, paint that in, and then we can select something in the center here, a lighter color. And then again we can switch to our soft brush, take the opacity down, and Just have a little bit of variation there. Okay, so add a little bit more here. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to save this file. So I'm going to go up to File, and then I go down to Save As. And you can save this in your images folder for the uh, project folder. And you want to save it as something like out UV bear. And you want to make sure that it's a Photoshop file. Okay, so you hit save. And that way we've got all of our work here in Photoshop uh, backed up. So now what we'll need to do is uh, hide the UV layer. And then we'll go to file and then save as. And here what we need to do is we need to go to the bear model project folder and then go to source images and then here we'll save this as a JPEG. Okay, So I'll hit save right here, hit OK and then I'll switch over to Maya. Okay so from here I'm gonna go to Windows and then I'll go down to rendering editors and then Hypershade. So in the Hypershade I'm going to create a new Lambert and then over here under my color attribute for that new Lambert, I'm going to click on the map button right here. And then I'm going to go to file. And then over here under image name, I'll select that file. And I'm under my bear model source images folder right here. And I'm going to select out UV bear. So you can see that's what we painted. So I'll hit open. So now I'll just take this file. Let's see here. I've got a whole bunch of windows here now. I'm going to take this right here, hold down the middle mouse button, and drag it over to my model. And then I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard to display textures. Okay. So um, let's add one more texture here. So let me make this window a little bit smaller. We're getting out of control here. So I'm going to create a, a fong right here. And I'll just take the color all the way down to let's see I'm not gonna quite do black like a dark gray button here okay so what I'll do is I will take this fong and drag it onto each of the button eyes okay so now I'm gonna close that and here you can see um, with the texture that has been dragged onto the the shader that's been dragged onto the model you can see what we've painted in Photoshop is now displaying um, on the character. Here we've got the nose with the stitches. We've got the uh, ears. And let's check the feet down here. And there's the feet down there. Okay. So there you go. That's how you 
can texture, very basically texture a simple character in Maya and Photoshop. Click on the animation disc in the center of the screen to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with new videos.